It is like midnight and me and my sister came to my grandma's house, which is where we film now. And my mom is on vacation, so she's obviously not here. My aunt and my grandma, they're on a trip. So me and my sister are just here and we're hearing all types of noises outside and it is creepy as fuck. Okay, and my sister's just like, I hope it was a cat. <laughs> Cause we've just been here like, what is that? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is my first time doing a favorites video, but normally people, they do their favorites video, obviously on a makeup channel, they only do makeup, but I wanna kinda do a little bit of everything. Um, since I do not film at home, I had to bring my favorites. So this time around, I wasn't able to bring other favorite things. Like I wanted to bring like favorite book and like, you know, stuff like that. But for now it's makeup and it's um, some hair stuff. But now you know, for next month, it'll be all types of random things that are my favorite throughout that month. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna mention is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette. I am in love with this palette. It is so beautiful, so beautiful. Look at these shades. Honestly, like I'm looking at them right now in the viewfinder and it doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. This is a really beautiful, extremely wearable palette and super pigmented. It has all these eyeshadows, which I haven't counted how many they are. Three times one, two, three, four, five. 15 eyeshadows. And then all these highlighters right here. Suitable for all skin tones. I've looked on YouTube and there are so many videos using this palette with girls, the most fairest girl to the girl with the most deepest beautiful skin and it fucking works. This is a beautiful palette. I love it. I think Carly did an amazing job. I think the pigment is awesome. Like look at this. This one's like kind of like holographic here. Like look at that. I don't know if you could tell right there, but it has like a purple. It's a little like lavender-y. It's really nice. And this is so good for like the inner corner. And it's just awesome. It's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome. I am gonna film a video using this palette. I posted a picture on Instagram wearing some colors from the palette and a lot of people really liked it. So yeah, so I'm definitely gonna film a video with it and probably film a lot with it because I really, really love it. Oh, and I also, I don't wanna blind you guys with the mirror, but I love that it says right here, aspire to inspire, so cute. So yeah, that is one of my all-time faves. Not all-time faves, all-time faves of like the last week, okay? All-time faves of the last week. And then the next one we're gonna get is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit with Nicole Greer. Guerrero, this little plastic just slipped out. I love this palette, it is so nice. I try to not buy into the hype of things I see on social media, but I end up buying into it because at first I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna get it. I have enough glow kits, I have enough highlighters, I don't need any more of that. I went to Sephora with my sister, and you can ask my sister, the first thing I did was like, oh look, the glow kit from Nicole Guerrero. I just wanna swatch it. I swatched it and I was like, I'm buying this. It is so pretty and so pigmented, and when you look at it, it looks um, glittery, but it really isn't. It isn't, it is just so, like, look at that. It is so beautiful. I'm in love with it. I think it's so good and I really appreciate the different range of, like the wide range of colors and how different skin tones can work with this palette. Girls with deeper skin tones can use these, but they can use also these for like either eyeshadow or to pop in the inner corner and even the reverse. A girl with really fair skin can use these as eyeshadows and use this as highlight. It just I like when things work for everybody and they're very like inclusive and I think these two palettes really do it. I think they really do it. So yeah, the next thing, I have like highlighter all over my fingers, like beautiful, look at that. Oh my goodness. 
my hands are always full of swatches. It doesn't get old. So yeah, so the next thing I have here, I think Sephora has a lot of hidden goodies. And when I say that, I mean Sephora brand things, which I'm gonna make a video on products that are Sephora brand that I think are really awesome and for some reason I don't hear people talking about it or at least talking about it as much as they should. And this is one of them. This is a Sephora Perfection Mist in Nude Glow. And at first, this is actually the second bottle I got because my first bottle, I bought it and it was in spring. Like I literally, it, you see the sound? It wasn't even making this. I was just like, okay. And when I would try and spray it, it was just like not, n nothing was coming out. It wasn't doing anything. So I ended up returning it and I was like, I feel like this is a bad omen. This is probably not gonna work. I'm probably not gonna like it. But I returned it and I got this one and I love it. It is so pretty. I love it for like a very dewy, simple look that I'll just wear. I'll put my eyebrows, mascara, a gloss, and I'll just put this on and it is so nice. It gives such a nice glow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some on now and see so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It is just so pretty. You see that dew? Look at that. Oh my God. It just makes your skin look so... It makes your skin look so dewy and so hydrated. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love it. I love this product. I can't say enough good things about it. I wish it was bigger. Well, Sephora, make this bigger. I need like a full size, like hairspray bottle size. That's what I need. I, this little thing, like I could, I run through this. I run through this, especially since I have dry skin and I love that like dewy, glowy look. I love it. So I use this a ton. Now, if you have oily skin and you don't like that dewy look, then this, I would steer clear from it because it is going to make you look just like this. You see? What? Next up, we have this. I don't know how to pronounce. Laneige. Laneige. I have no idea. I think it's Laneige. But I use their sleeping, um, sleeping mask. And it is like the blue, the bigger blue container. And I love it. It is so awesome. I was on Amazon because, you know, I am a big fan of the Zon. And I was on there. And I saw this and I was like, okay, I wanna try this lip mask. And I am so happy that I got it. It smells, it smells like the like cherry, strawberry, it smells really fruity. But this, I usually put some on, it says lip sleeping mask, but you know, let's be real. I use it before I put makeup on, anytime my lips feel like super dry or like I'm at home hanging out or I put like a, a face mask on, I'll put that on, and I do use it to sleep too, but I like it for all the damn time. This is so good, it's so hydrating, and I am obsessed with it, and these are just some things that I'm like, why aren't more people talking about these things? They're so good, and yeah, and it's not expensive at all. I'm gonna link all these things down below, and you're gonna see like this from Amazon. I think I got this for like like 10 bucks or something and I have the the lip mask from Nicole girls line which is uh, best damn beauty It's the best damn uh, lip mask and I think it was like 20 or something I don't even know so and this I think I believe I'm pretty sure this is a yeah This is a Korean brand of course. It's awesome. The next thing I have here is this guy this is also from Sephora. Like, I, I need to get to this video and make all these things that are like my Sephora brand like favorites. But this is a color switch. So this little guy right here is basically, you know, while you're doing your makeup and you're using the same brush, but you wanna like switch and use a different color, you don't have to just jump to a different brush. You just 
spin the brush in there and it just cleans the brush for you it takes off all that excess eyeshadow so you can literally go from a brown eyeshadow just swirl the brush in there swirl the brush in there make sure it's clean and go to a lighter color and it doesn't transfer or anything and it is awesome it is awesome especially like me I truthfully like I am so lazy and I don't clean my brushes as often as I should so this is awesome because I'll have a specific brush that I love using and that blending brush I just want to use it for multiple colors but I only have one of it you know these brushes are so damn expensive so I'll use it and then I'll just like swirl it in here and then I'll get the lighter color and then we are good to go this is the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. And this guy I love, love for, of course, like, you know, where's the surprise? For making my skin look dewy and all that. But this guy, I either mix it with my foundation or I'll just dab some like right here, 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 and like right there on my chin, on the tip of my nose, and then with a beauty blender, I'll just go mixing it in. But look at how pretty. I hope you can get like a good idea of how pretty that color is. Disregard these guys. But it's such a beautiful, like bronzy champagne color. And look, you see? You see, and it has like the this beautiful undertone that I'm just like, it's just so natural. That's where I'm trying to get at. It's like such a beautiful, natural looking illuminizer, you know? Illuminizer, is that the, that's what it's called? Yeah, illuminizer. And it's just so nice. I just love it. It, it doesn't mess up the formula of the foundation. Cause you know, there's certain things that if you mix into your foundation, it might mess up the formula and then no, it just becomes this whole like cakey mess. This doesn't do that. I really like it and it's not too, it's not watery or anything like that. It's actually pretty thick, but it still is awesome. This viewfinder is not doing this thing justice, is it? No, it's just, just beautiful. I've also used this before, like I'll put it right here, like on my shoulders, on my collarbone or something like that, you know. Next up is this beautiful, beautiful liquid lipstick. This is from Kat Von D. It is Ludwig, and it is the color I have on right now. This color is actually very light looking in the bottle, but after it dries down, look how, how much darker it gets. It is so beautiful, so pretty. It is so nice. Like, where can, I have no space. Let me see if I can do it. Wait, you see, I don't even have space there. All right, let me try right here. Fem, was that noise you? Yeah. Oh. Like, I wanna say it kind of reminds me of Lolita too, but not really. Less, uh, less like, I wanna say like less rosy toasty and much more, it, it, this one has almost like a slight, slight undertone of like a mauve. Very slight. Very slight. But I love it. I really, really like this color. And Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are just so comfortable to wear. Like they are like those tried and true liquid lipsticks. Because you know some of them you put them on and they like start like cracking. And then they just get like nasty. But these aren't. But this color is just so gorgeous. I remember I was obsessed with Lolita for such a long time. Guys, you remember how long we were going after Lolita? Yeah. I remember Lolita was so popular. And it was sold out in all Sephora's. And it was such a mission. But enough about Lolita. We're talking about Ludwig here. This color is gorgeous. I love this color. Like... <laughs> so beautiful. Since we're on lip colors, another color that I've been loving is Point Zero from ColourPop. This is actually the collaboration with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, and it is a satin lip. Therefore, it does not dry super matte and like non-transferable like other like uh, liquid lipsticks, but it is beautiful. And this one, I love any lipstick with a gray undertone. Like, gray is my favorite color, so anything with a gray undertone, I'm like, I die for. 
And this is just gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me put it next to this one. God, that swatch is awful. But you see this one has a more brown, gray undertone. Then this one has a little more rosy. But it is just so pretty, so pretty. I just, I can't say enough things about these colors other than unless you try them yourself, you'll, you won't be able to see like what I mean, you know? It's just so beautiful, like I love these two. These two have been like a fave this month for sure, for sure, for sure. Like I said, this one dries matte. This one is more of a satin lip, so it's not as matte as deep one. Well, this one is matte. It's just, it doesn't, it's transferable. That's what I'm trying to get at. This guy hit me by surprise. This little guy right here, this is Glam Glow's Plump Rageous Gloss Lip Treatment. Now, my friend Jessica told me about this and she was like, oh, I tried it and it works. And I don't know what, so I was like, okay, like I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try it. You know, I'm going to try and get my, my lips looking swollen, luscious, I don't know, whatever. And I went and I tried it and I, there were a bunch of different colors, which I should go back and buy because I like a nude gloss. But anyway, so I got, this one is clear. I bought the clear lip gloss and forget about the limp, the plumping of the lips. For, for Let's forget about that. Why I love this is because this is the best clear gloss I've ever tried and on top of that it's, it smells so minty and I love anything minty I love the smell of mint this is just the best formula for a clear gloss it's just so it gives you that like super super shiny glossy lip that like Kris Jenner always has do you guys know what I'm talking about like I feel like every time I see pictures of like Kris Jenner her lips are like so glossy and I'm like I wonder what gloss this woman uses. It has to be this one because this shit is so nice. I'm just in love with it, which I need to go buy another bottle. But yeah, so the reason why I love this is not the whole plumping thing. Like I could care less if this plumps or it doesn't, which I feel like it really doesn't. It just tinkles a little bit. But as a clear gloss, it's beautiful. But don't put it like on your eyes and stuff for like those that glossy lid look because this, this shit is gonna burn you. Now, if you're anything like me that struggles with doing a winged eyeliner, this guy right here is gonna be your saving grace. This is the NYX Super Skinny Marker. This marker is awesome, awesome. I love it. My sister that's always slaying wings left and right loves it and it is so good. It really helps you get like a precise, you're not even able to tell from there, but it helps you get like a really precise wing. It's so, so nice. I love it. It's a felt tip marker and it's very, very pointy. So you can really get that little like flick, but it's so good. So if you struggle with doing your winged eyeliner and you know, you get frustrated and all that stuff, give this a try. It's in the drugstore. It's not expensive. And I think this will really, really, really help you because it has helped me and I've been struggling. I've been struggling. So yeah, I really, I hope, I wonder if they have this in different colors. Because right now I have, this is from NYX 2, the one I have on my eye. But this is a blue liquid liner. I wonder if they have it in the felt tip. I wonder. Alright, so now I just have three more things. I feel like we've been able to like, you know, get through this pretty fast. I didn't know like how I was going to do this because since it is my first time doing my fav the favorites video. But you know, I think we're, we're getting to it. So I have three more things and they are all hair products and one of these I kid you not guys this guy right here I found this on Amazon again of course but I found this guy just doing like you know some search I was looking for like a blow drying spray thermal protection spray like I don't remember what I was searching for and I came across this and I read the reviews and people were saying how absolutely amazing this is and I was like alright you know if it's not amazing I gotta buy it so I bought it and I washed my hair I sprayed it all over my hair it smells amazing. I sprayed it all over my hair and I blow dried my hair and I'm not even kidding or exaggerating that my hair looked so nice and shiny and it was like so just 
beautiful and like bouncy and I was like okay and mind you I don't know how to blow dry hair like I don't know how to do that I the I the flat iron is what saved my life okay it's what saved my life because I never knew how to blow dry hair so when that shit was, was invented I was like all right all right thank god but yeah so this I don't I, I don't really iron my hair anymore like I really don't I just iron like my crazy baby hairs because you know whatever like they're always acting up but this is amazing it is so 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 good i don't know what's in this i don't know what type of sorcery is in here like i don't know angel tears i have no idea but it is so good so good this is a product that i will probably never stop buying like i'm not even kidding i'll probably never stop buying this as soon as i run out i'm gonna buy another one because i don't think i could live without this like i'm not even kidding this is so good i don't know i have my hair type is dry, uh, wavy, and really frizzy. And my hair is not super thick. It's kind of like average. I have a lot of hair, but it's like kind of, you know, like average. It's not like super thin, but it's not super thick. So it's in the middle. So I don't know if this would work on super curly hair. I put this on my mom's hair and it blow dried great too. And my mom has um, very, she, mom has curly hair, right? It's considered curly hair. Yeah. My mom has curly hair. And I tried out my sister and it just does such a good job. So if you have very, very, very curly hair, I don't know if it'll work. It might. I I don't know. It might. Because this is like really good. But I suggest if you are not very good at blow drying hair and you don't want to cause so much heat damage with the iron, consider giving this a try. I think it was like 20 something bucks or something. And it was very, very good. Oh my god, I need to take this cardigan off. Whew. This guy. This guy. I recently... This smells so good. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. This, when I, fir I first heard of this, not as dry shampoo. I heard of it as a perfume. And I loved the scent of it. And then I came across this and I bought it. And... I'm obsessed with this too. I feel like I recently discovered dry shampoo. Kind of, maybe. Like, I always knew dry shampoo, you know, I knew it existed, but I never used it. I have never used dry shampoo. I always used to think, like, why am I going to use that? I just wash my hair or whatever. But I use this after I shower. I put some in my roots. And this does leave a white cast if you do it too close. So you got to do it at a distance. And if you get some... Um, of that white cast you just kind of like rub it in and it goes away but this is so good I put this after I wash my hair so that it kind of is already there and after I blow dry and wash my hair and all that stuff um, and I go before I go to sleep so that it's kind of like already there so my hair I don't wake up with my hair kind of like oily or anything like that and I'll just kind of touch it up every day I put some and all that stuff and I love it I feel like it gives my hair a lot of volume I use this mainly for volume and the second reason I use it is for the oil control but mainly I use it for volume it does give you a lot of volume so if you have very flat hair you should consider trying dry shampoos for the purpose of volumizing rather than you know for controlling oil or any of that stuff so after you blow dry your hair even if your hair is clean you put it on your roots you lift up your roots like that you divide your hair you put it in your roots and you just do it for the volume and i think it'll work amazing just like it did for me because i never use dry shampoo i never use any of this stuff until recently i started you know trying different products and stuff and i was like all right i guess i'm gonna do this my mom when i told her i was using dry shampoo she was like just wash your hair and i was like no but you don't understand now we have reached the end the last thing is this guy right here and yes this specific one is amazing but in general lately i've been using a lot of sea salt sprays but this one is really good this is organic botanic australia sea salt and coconut salt hairspray get sexy bed hair salt is a fantastic texturizing spray for messy loose waves i love that messy loose waves look and also if you know me personally you know i am lazy and if i can wash my hair and then it stays wet and i just spray this sucker in and just scrunch it up a little bit and i wake up with like you know those like loose nice beachy waves i'm sold honestly i am sold the less i have to do the better 
really I'm not even kidding but yeah I really like this it smells so good you know I'm like a smell person like if something smells good I'm like okay I like this I'm already it already has like an unfair advantage if it smells good you know what I mean but it's so it's so nice like I'll put it on my hair when it's damp and I just kind of like scrunch it in a little bit and I just let it air dry and it gives like that nice beautiful like beachy look um, I don't know if it would work like on really fine hair I, I, I think that if you already have wavy hair this just makes it look extra um, wavy and like that messy pretty look you know but and also I was scared of using sea salt sprays because they I mean it's it's freaking salt you know and I have dry hair so I was like all right this I feel like this is gonna dry my shit out but this has coconut in it so I was like okay, I guess maybe this balances out a little bit you know hydrates you know whatever but I love it I, I have this one and I'm using another one another sea salt spray that I bought that I don't remember the name right now but this one I this one I actually bought it in TJ Maxx um, I don't know if they would have it on Amazon but I'm gonna look for it for you guys and if they do I'm definitely gonna link it down below but yeah between these three like when I'm feeling lazy sea salt spray when I'm not feeling lazy and I'm trying to you know look goo then I'll use these guys but these three like I'm just like obsessed with them I've been obsessed with them for like the past two months and since this is my first favorite I was like no, no I, I gotta mention them I, I have to mention them but yes guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to do more favorites every month just let me know in the comments down below if you guys aren't subscribed already please do subscribe what are you waiting for and I will see you guys in my next video bye